of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today I have a special guest. <gasps> Come here. It's Baby Nash. Today we are unboxing a box from Box Dog, and we're really grateful that Box Dog reached out and offered to send us a box. I guess they had heard me talk about Baby Nash in some of my videos. What this is is just a subscription box for dogs, but this is really cool because you actually have the ability to customize parts of this. When they sent me the email, they mentioned like, this is kind of like FabFitFun for dogs because you had the option to go in and customize three of the items. And then they said, we'll send you the treats and the skincare that come with it. And I was like, what on earth is skincare for dogs? So let's dive into it and we'll see if Nash comes and helps me unbox this. All right, and looking at their website, it looks like it costs $34.99 for a monthly box. And that would come with four items that include treats, toys, clothing, or skincare. And you can also customize it by having tougher chew oh. toys. You did that right as you said tougher. If you have a bigger dog, or you also could do grain free options if your dog has an allergy. But they also have a quarterly box. So that is where things are really like FabFitFun. And I believe that's what they sent me is like whatever the version of their quarterly box is. So this comes with four types of handmade treats and one vegan skincare item. You choose the dog's toys, clothing, or gear. And this is usually great for large dogs and tough chewers. Now we have a pretty small dog, even though he has a oh. mean, <laughs> a mean growl. And I would say he's a super tough chewer because he's in his puppy phases. So now that you know a little bit more about this box, let's dive right into it. Nash, come here. So this comes wrapped just like FabFitFun. You have the paper right here, do you see it? And it has this like fun little summer themed box on the outside. This toy is the one that I was most excited about because I just felt like Nash needed Cookie Monster in his life. And so this I think is technically not Sesame Street branded, but this, I think it was called like a Cookie Monster Ball toy or something, but it has squeakers on all of the arms and the legs. <gasps> Does that look fun, Nash? And I thought this would be good because he could carry it around by the feet or by the hands and the head. <gasps> makes an even deeper squeaker noise that he really loves. It also has this kind of like a, like a mop. And it kind of looks like a mop. And so it says that this has multiple layers. It's sewn multiple times. It doesn't have any hard edges. Oh, it has two layers of soft material and then one plastic ball. And it doesn't have stuffing, which is good. So if you have a dog that's a chewer and they tend to like litter things all around the house, this could be a good option. It's supposed to be super durable. Nash seems to really like this one. Wow, Bubba, that's a good toy. And just like a normal kid, sometimes the wrapping is even more exciting than the toys. The next toy that I picked out is this starfish, and you'll see that this is themed for summer. There were a couple of other options. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but I want to say one was a hammerhead shark. I thought that this would be better for him, and I completely underestimated the size of this because this is actually pretty large. And that is a pretty small dog. So this is like bigger than his head. But my thought on this was he can carry bigger toys as long as they have something that he can put his mouth on. So since this had five different points, I thought that this would be safe, even though he's a pretty small guy. He still has really loved the Cookie Monster toy though. That is one comment that I have to make is that the quarterly box said that it was for bigger dogs and tough chewers, and I would completely agree. This is an extremely sturdy toy. It says that there are seven rows of stitching, three layers of material, protective webbing, and squeaker safety pockets. So the squeakers are actually sewn inside of this so that they can't like take those out and chew on them, I guess. And I don't feel any squeakers in this. You want to start? Fish? What do you think about it, buddy? He said, pretty tough. The stitching looks really fancy, fancier than my other toys. You like the color? It kind of matches your harness a little bit, complements it well. And we like to call any any toy that you can just like hold on to and let him chew becomes a chewy. So this seems like something really good for me to keep beside the bed because in the morning when he gets really excited, he loves to chew on stuff. So this seems like it would be a really good toy for that. Also. Get an up close of this starfish face. This is probably the face he makes when dogs chew on him all day long. So the third toy that I picked out is one that he is clearly quite excited about because this boy loves to run. He loves to fetch. Anything that you can throw for him in the backyard is his favorite. 
And I thought that this was a super inventive toy because this is called a jive ball. This is for tough chewers, which I consider Nash to be. He's lost all of his baby teeth and he's still a super intense chewer. This is BPA free, latex free, and FDA compliant. And it fits in one of those ball throwers. So if you're somebody that has one of those like plastic launcher things, this can easily fit into that. Now I will say this ball seems super heavy and a little bit big for his mouth. But when you compare it to the size of a tennis ball, which we have right here, let me go get it. But when you compare this to the size of a tennis ball, they're pretty comparable. So I have a feeling that he will actually be able to go and fetch this. Now the cool thing about this is that when you bounce it, it's shaped in such a way with all of these little grooves and different textures that it, it has an unpredictable bounce. So he can't know if it's gonna go straight or left or right. So it kind of keeps him on his toes, makes him a little smarter, a little bit more agile. So that's why I ended up choosing this one. Other options that I had were like a bandana or a towel that he could lay on in the backyard, which was marketed as like a cooling towel. And he is a fuzzy boy and he does get pretty hot in the Texas heat but I thought that he would have a lot more fun with this ball than he would with the cooling towel. So I ended up going with the Jive ball. So those three toys were the customizable aspects. So think of this as in FabFitFun, if you are a quarterly subscriber and not the annual subscriber and you have just a couple of items to choose from, that's what you get with the toys. Now the treats and everything that go into it, those they pick for you. So think about those as like the FabFitFun select items that you don't typically get an option for. So. The first one of those is, ooh, soft bacon and cheese bites, peanut butter bones, and soft honey and cinnamon bites. These sound delicious. And it looks kind of like, these are definitely human safe. I know that these are not intended for humans. The ingredients in these seem really clean. The soft bacon and cheese bites just have barley flour, palm oil, honey, rolled oats, cheddar cheese, flax, coconut oil, and natural bacon flavor. Questionable. Peanut butter bones have rye flour, rice flour, oatmeal, applesauce, flax, peanut butter, and rice bran. The soft honey and cinnamon bites, which sounded the most appealing to me, uh, that's barley flour, palm oil, honey, rolled oats, oat flour, coconut oil, chia seeds, and cinnamon. This legitimately, I might. <laughs> so I really want to try one and I look over and Brian's like, no, don't do it. This is the soft bacon and cheese bite, the cinnamon bites, and then the peanut butter bone. So let's see <laughs> if Nash has a favorite. Hey Nash, you a treat? Can you sit? Can you sit? Good boy. Need some dessert? Sometimes he's weird about treats and you have to actually just set it on the ground and then he'll take his own time to go get the treat and he always ends up eating it. But I think he just likes it to be his choice. Ah, so once we open the packaging on this, it looks like the starfish squeaks in these areas right here. So not where it's actually tough where they chew. The next treat that we have right here are gourmet frosted cookies. These are made with flour, honey, vegetable oil, vanilla, and yogurt frosting. And from the outside, these actually look like they're going to be pretty cute decorated cookies. <gasps> and sure enough, they are. It looks like we have little dinosaur, no. This must be some type of turtle. And then there's also a sun. And then the fun, no Nash. And then these fun frosted cookies, we have a shark right here. And then it looks like a surfboard on the back. So those are really cute. And he is probably gonna get like one fourth of each of those cookies at a time because those are huge. It seems that the cinnamon oat ball is all gone. So that treat was a big hit. And then last but not least, we have skincare for dogs. In fact, this is sunscreen. And I think that this is kind of a balm and it says apply to nose and other sensitive areas prior to sun exposure, avoid contact with eyes. So because he's going outside, oftentimes like the pads of the feet and the nose and things like that dry out in hot sun. So we can protect baby, just like I wear my own SPF every day. So. I think this is a big hit. Nash currently is trying to get all of the treats sitting under my legs. So thank you, Box Dog, for sending this to me and Nash. And we will be sure to check in and give you his full review on all of his toys after we've had it for a while. So if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.